Hello and welcome to another Primavera Physics lesson by Global Project Control. In this lesson, we want to talk about how you can add a cost account by Excel help to your project in Primavera P6. As you see, this is my project, and my project have some resources, but the cost account is not available for each of them. And this is the map of cost account for this project. I have a cost account over here, and this is the list of activity over here. So, for assign the cost account to your project, you need to select the cost account and assign it to your project. But by import, it is too much easier because for some of activity you have more than one resources and maybe both of resources are not included in a one cost account so you should assign it each by each maybe the other recommendation for assigning the cost account is to follow the resources based on the other group and sort in order to use fill down and assign the cost account right here you can find it over here an assignment but maybe during this process because of this manual process you face it with some complexity or you made a mistake so my suggestion for you is to use the export export by a spreadsheet for the resource assignment I mean this table then select the export and add cost account to your field you need to have in your list resource type resource name for guide you and you want to adjust your cost account based on your other table so let me to decrease the unnecessary information like budgeted unit and I proceed for the assignment I select the file and save it over here this is my cost account and right now I'm going to open the file this is my exported file after each export you need to verify the field which you exported my exported file included activity ID, activity status, resource ID, role ID, cost account, let me to mark it, resource type, resource name, and delete this row. What is delete this row? It means that if I want to remove this assignment from project, I should use this character over here then during the import this record will be deleted from my assignment in the project so if you want to use the D character you should use it and as a result of this this record will be deleted for assign the cost account you need to first remove all the available resources from your database but fortunately the assignments for the cost account are the same so you need to add the same to your database and the things is only you need to follow your cost account by the VLOOKUP and search by activity ID 
then call the cost icon from second table to this table. This is the column number 15 on the table array, so I add the 15 and leave it blank. But at this stage, you need to change these items from formula to the text because if you're going to add, uh, because if you're going to save this table and import it to the P6, P6 cannot distinct that the result of formula is required to be updated and used in a table and the software think that you want to import the formula so you face it with error what's the solution the solution is use select all use the copy and paste it as a value then save the data and close this file switch on the p6 let me to come back to the software and Go to the file, import, by import, for a spreadsheet. I select the cost icon assignment, select the file, and select the resource assignment. In this stage, you should select the project, because maybe more than one project is open already and finish the import was successful right now let us see what happened to the resource assignment on the resource assignment you can find that i assigned to cost account for each of the resources and in the group and sort you can change the cost account for sorting the activities in the project Right now, you can see two cost accounts assigned to the project based on my table. I hope this lesson is useful for you. Thank you for watching Global Project Control. I hope this lesson is useful for you. Please keep in touch with my LinkedIn, YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook for further lesson. Also, you can visit my website www.globalprojectcontrol.com in order to find all of my lesson and courses in the same time. Thank you for your subscription at my YouTube channel.